and welcome back to our kitchen. So today's video is going to be very exciting and this is what we eat in a day, Thai food. Sawadika! This video actually guys is requested by my Thai friends. They cannot watch my YouTube because it's in Tagalog. Today, please bear with me. I'd like to talk as much English as possible just so they can understand me a bit. Thailand is very special to me in a way because it's my regional office. So I often go to Thailand for work and for pleasure and every time I go there, I look forward firstly yung kanyang food. The food is to die for and the shopping is really a shopping paradise. We have quite a number of Thailand vlogs. Link below, please watch it. So for today's video, we are going to cook four authentic Thai dishes. Well, I hope I can pull it off. I'm no expert, by the way, I'm not a chef. But one thing for sure, I love to eat. But it doesn't show because I'm still teen. Today, we're going to cook four dishes. Number one, Pad Thai. We're gonna cook also mango sticky rice, Thai green curry, and finally, the most famous soup, Tom Yam Goon. For our first dish, I'm going to cook my favorite Pad Thai. It's like a stir fry noodles. Very easy to cook, but the thing is, it takes a lot of preparations because there's a lot of ingredients in it. So today, I tried to come up with a number of Thai ingredients that is really coming from Thailand. As much as I can, I tried to get it and I'm gonna show you later because we wanted to arrive that really authentic Thai taste. But of course, it cannot be like 100% because for one, I'm not a Thai. So I'm just trying my best to come up with something I've tasted when I was in Bangkok. For my Pad Thai, I have here tamarind paste. This is very important and this is one of the common ingredients in the Thai cuisine. This one, shrimp paste. I asked my Thai friend what is that best brand. Me Pranom brand is very popular and I'm lucky to find it. And then another one, Thai chili paste, same brand, Me Pranom. I have here rice noodles for my Pad Thai as well. And then later on, we're gonna use coconut milk, Thai coconut milk. And of course, for our Tom Yum later, we have here this Trinity herbs. And of course, Thai fish sauce. For our curry, we have here again, Thai brand, the curry powder. And finally, of course, this one, our glutinous rice for our mango sticky rice. Another one that we bought when we were in Thailand last year. So let's get started with our Pad Thai. So first things guys, I made already the Pad Thai sauce. This is a combination of our tamarind paste, this one, plus sugar. Usually they do it using palm sugar, but mine, I use brown sugar. Another thing, Thai fish sauce, this one. First thing, we have to put on the oil and then let's fry our shrimp. Peeled and deveined. Our shrimp is quite small, but we have the big one for the Tom Yam Goon. Make sure guys, now you don't overcook your shrimp. So let's set it aside and then next will be in the same pan, put on our Tofu. The problem, my tofu is so soft, better the one that is really firm. So let's add up both garlic and onions. And then our shrimp. Add up our noodles. Our pad thai sauce. It's 
smells like pad thai. So let's check the noodles. Mmm. Not yet. Not yet done. Set it aside. And add up the egg on this side. Yes. Look here. Mm. Very simple to cook, just stir fry. But the thing, there's a lot of ingredients that you need to prepare in advance. We have to put our bean sprout, a lot of bean sprouts, and then our spring onion. So normally, guys, when you serve it. There's this um, lime on the side and also peanuts. But for me, I'm not going to put peanuts and lime because first, I don't like peanuts. Second, there's the tamarind already, so I don't need the lime. So basically, this is it. So I'm gonna put some chili powder, not the flakes one. I'm gonna taste once again. She's saying it's a bit sour. Probably I put more of tamarind paste. So with that, I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in it just to balance all the sourness. So it's not so perfect, but I'm happy with my pad thai. At least I can cook it at home and I don't need to go out of the house to find Thai food. Good! So for our next Thai dish, it will be my favorite Thai dessert, mango sticky rice. You can find mango sticky rice along the streets of Bangkok for as low as 50 Thai baht. But when you are in the airport, the price is about 200 baht times Four. But of course, when you want to eat it, no matter how much it is, you can spend it, you know, as much as you want. The important thing is you have the Thai glutinous rice, which I happen to still have it. I bought it last September when I was in Bangkok and two kilos and still here. So I actually tried cooking mango sticky rice in the past, but I do it the quickest way the easiest and probably filipino style but for today i'm going to show you the traditional way of cooking through by steaming i have here my glutinous rice rinsed already and soaked in cold water for like six hours while well, some they do it overnight but i'm not sure why is that so i did mine for six hours and then what I'm going to do is to transfer it into the steamer. But in Thailand, they have this traditional bamboo steamer that they use to cook the glutinous rice. But because I don't have it, you can use whatever available that you have. Or you can even use your rice cooker. But that won't come out the same because the cooked rice would be a little bit different as compared to you use a steamer. So now let me just drain the water. Our next step is to put it in the steamer using a cloth. So we have to put the rice in this cloth and then steam it for like 30 minutes. So just use thin white cloth probably but I don't have the white cloth, sorry. So this is what I have. Ay, inalagay dyan? Yes, this is the traditional way, the steaming process. So you see the rice grains have been swollen, meaning that they have absorbed the water and so the rice will cook it by itself in there. Ganun yung mga. Kaya natin yun. <laughs> English. So, we are to cook for 30 minutes, but I will check it on the 20 minutes. To make sure it's not overcooked. Meantime, I have to cook our coconut syrup using, of course, my coconut milk. All links will be below, guys. Kung saan ko pinagkukuha ang mga ingredients natin, nasa baba ang link along with my steamer. Link below. For my coconut syrup, I just have to mix coconut with sugar, which we will have to pour in once the rice is cooked. 
I'm gonna show you later. And also, we need to have some kind of a sauce, which is a combination of sugar and salt. It's like coconut, sweet, salty sauce or dip for our mango sticky rice. I'm going to check the rice because it's been cooking for like 20 minutes already. So let's see how it goes. Excited! I know it's hot. The rice grains are whole and it's crystal. We're good and we need 10 minutes more to completely cook the rice. Excited ako to eat this. That's how it is in Bangkok. When you eat this mango sticky rice, the glutinous rice is firm. It's see-through, it's crystallized and everything as you can see. We're on the right track and while we're waiting to completely cook our sticky rice, which is I'm seeing about 8 minutes, I'm going to cook our coconut syrup. Turn on the heat. Again, try again. Oh, you see? Put in, of course, coconut. One. About two cups. And then add some sugar. This is three tablespoons. That's it. And one half teaspoon of salt. And then let's mix it until it dissolves perfectly our rice is cooked already we have to transfer the rice here and pour on the coconut syrup here it is the rice greens are whole and crystal I know guys, it's a little bit soupy, but later on, we'll have to wait for the rice to absorb the coconut syrup. Put a lid, set it aside for like 20 more minutes, and then we'll return. 20 minutes after, here it is, make the rice plump. Rest again for another 15 minutes. Set it aside. And then for now, I'm going to cook the final sauce, which is the salted coconut sauce, which is topping for our mango sticky rice. Ah, iba pa yung nandun? It's different because the one in there doesn't have a cornstarch. This one, it has to be a little malapot. Again, we need coconut syrup. Yes. So it won't be a lot since it's just a sauce. And then we're gonna put sugar. Oh, why is that? Oh my god, oh my god, what is that? What is that? I don't know. A little bit of salt. And then, of course, our cornstarch. Yes. Okay. Yes. Medyo malapot na siya. Sorry po sa ginagamit kong tools. This is our sandok. Okay, ayan. Gusto ko lang kasi mabuo. Yes. 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 Nice. Okay. So there's one thing missing in my mango sticky rice. Yellow bean on top of this thing. They call it the mung beans. But I'm there's no way I can find it and so wala lang. Let's keep it as this. Mung bean, this one. It looks like this, the mung bean. Put on the top of the sticky rice. Mung bean? Yeah, mung bean. You Filipino na Mr. Bean. <laughs> Tawa ka! Dinya Gates. Dinya Gates. M-U-N-G. Ano M-U-N-G? Mung. Ah, mung. Si Mang Bin, si Mr. Bin yun, pag Pilipino. Alam mo si Mami, Heidi, lagi siyang nagluluto nito for us. Pero this is the best version. You know why? Bakit? 
yung ginagawa ko before, it's not the steam version. In case sa bahay nyo, gusto nyo yung mabilis lang, saing nyo lang yung glutinous rice, just like rice, tapos yun na. But the thing, hindi mo makukuha yung ganitong klase ng rice na talagang, makikita mo di ba yung grains? It's full, <coughs> it's Ganda. crystal. Medyo hindi siya, may kunot na hindi mo, yes. basta masarap. That exactly my point. Pagka rice cooker, hindi magiging ganito. Oh, anong dadala yung coconut na? Yeah. I love my pad thai. I love my mango sticky rice. Sarap. This is 10 over 10 for me. Thank pad thai you. is 8 over 10. Thank you. I'm back to cook Thai green curry. Very, very simple because I found a shortcut. And the secret ingredient will be this one. Yeah. So this is real Thai green curry paste. Talagang original, coming from Thailand, sumakay ng aeroplano, nag-landing sa mga groceries. Okay. <laughs> I have chicken breast na in-slice ko na. I have coconut milk, dalawang klase. Ito pa. And then, of course, basil, eggplant, and of course, sugar. Guys, madali lang to kasi... Meron tayo nitong recipe na to. Pero kung wala kayo nito, medyo maghahanap pa kayo ng mga ingredients. It says here, of course, meron na tong chili, lemongrass, onion, garlic, salt, galangga, kafir, cumin powder, coriander, turmeric salt. Andi dito na lahat. Wala na tayong gagawin. Pagsasama-samahin lang natin sila. Some more. And then, in-mix natin tong ating Thai curry. Actually, yung isang ganitong pack, makakaluto na siya ng mga 200 grams. Chili kasi ito, basically chili yung green curry. So, maanghang siya. The more nilagyan mo siya, mas maanghang. Eh, hindi ako mahilig sa masyadong maanghang. So, I will keep it one sachet lang, even though I had 300 grams of chicken. So, we have to mix it and then, kailangan magmantika siya. Walang gisa-gisa. Wala akong hiniwang bawang, sibuyas, and everything. This mixture gave us the shortcut. Wow, ang bango. Yes. Parang hindi Smells ata okay like yung that. green curry na ano, no, makorang. Ah, iba naman kasi yun. Kaya nga, I'm trying to get yung mga real Thai ingredients para we can have the real Thai taste. Meron kasi din tayo guys dito na green curry na local. Pero syempre, iba pa din yung galing sa Thailand. Chicken. Okay, we have to wait to make it boil. Okay, now it's boiling. Ayan. Yes. So next, we have to add up our eggplant. And then some more coconut milk. And then bring to a boil again. Okay. Grabe guys, tinikman ko. Mataas ang anghang. So, I'm putting sugar para lang to balance. Take note ha, isang sachet lang yung nilagay natin. Patigas pa yung ating eggplant about probably 3 minutes more and then it's ready. And saka natin ilalagay ang ating basil to complete our... Thai green curry. Usually guys, yung iba naglalagay pa sila ng red chili pepper. Pero hindi ko na carry. So spicy talaga. Mama, ano ka sabi mo? Pagkain natin. Again, again. Ang sarap, ma. Siyempre. Luto ko eh, no? Maklase. Oh, hindi yata. Hindi nga inaantay namin eh. Kasi kami hindi na kami makalulun. Oo, hindi na kami makahinga eh. Pero ayos lang yun, mother. Ito mga ulaman. Pero umamin ka, masarap. Oo, kaya nang sobrang anghang. I'm back with the final dish. It's gonna be the famous Tom Yam Goong. One of my favorite soup. Yeah. Me too. Next to laksa. Meron po ako dito. Next to ramen. Uh, background noise. Uh, <laughs> Nagreregyo naman, di ba? Our ingredients. Gung itself. 
the shrimp. Tapos ang gulog na naman. Ay! Gulog na naman sila lahat. Straw mushroom. Tom yum soup herbs. Mahirap ma-achieve yung taste kung wala nitong mga herbs na to. This is called the Trinity Herb. Ito yung kafir. And then, meron ding galanggal. Looks like a ginger but it's a different taste compared to ginger. And of course, we have the lemongrass. I have here a dried lemongrass and also the fresh one. So, gagamitin ko na din siya. The Thai chili paste. Very important ingredients also for the tom yum. If this is not available, I don't think you will achieve the taste. The May Pranom brand. Ito yung talagang magbibigay sa atin ng lasang Thai. We have the Thai fish sauce. And then, instead of using the Thai coconut, I decided to use condensed milk to give it neutral taste. Kasi pagka ginamit natin yung Thai coconut, alam naman natin yung very tasty. So, bako overpower niya yung lasa ng ating tom yum. But, if you want the coconut milk, Yes, you can go ahead and use it. And of course, magbibigay ng sour taste to our tom yum will be our lemon. Sa Thailand, they use lime but we don't have lime here. Lemon is very popular and easily accessible. So, ito yung meron ako na na-squeeze ko na. Here's our shrimp. Yung shell will have to be boiled. So, yun yung gagamitin nating stock. For some reasons, you don't have access to shrimp. Some, they use chicken stock. So, pag chicken naman, hindi siya tom yum goon. It will be tom ka gai. And if that is a chicken, hindi mo din magagamit itong chili paste natin because the chili paste includes the shrimp. The shrimp goes with the shrimp, but it does not go well with the chicken. Let's get started our lemongrass. Kailangan lang natin medyo kukukin ng ganyan para lumabas yung kanyang flavor. And then we'll slice it. Ipipeel ka to in the vein. So, dito na natin siya ilalagay kasi we have to boil it. Maraming nagko-comment kung papaano yung proper pag daw. So, guys, hindi ko alam yung pa proper pag na no? Parang may tunutusok eh. Pero ba't ganyan? Hindi ako successful. Ayun! Ayun, ayun, ayun. Ah! Ang galing ko. Charong. Galing na no? Technique. The toothpick technique. Yes. Ang bango. Naalala nyo ba yung mga nanay nyo? Diba pag naghahalabos ng hipon? Hmm, bangong sarap! Yan pa lang ha, masarap na. Lalagyan natin siya ng water. And then, buboyan natin siya. By the way, bago ang kaldero ko ha. Kita niyo naman, may effort talaga si Mami Heidi siya. Okay, meron akong sandok na wood, dumating na din siya. Pero yung pang saba, wala pa. Oh, bear with me for now. Meron akong highlights sa Instagram. Doon ko lahat ilalagay yung aking mga mail links. Not sponsored. We have our shrimp broth ngayon. Ay, add natin yung ating mga herbs. Lemongrass. And also our trinity herbs. You have to soak this in water, guys, ha, for 5 minutes. Bago nyo siya ilagay. Para lumambot. Let it boil for like 3 minutes, tapos ilagay na natin yung iba pang mga ingredients. Gusto lang natin siyang kumapit na masa. I know this is spicy, no? So, we have to be careful kung gaano kadami yung gagamitin natin. Hindi siya masyadong maanghang at this point, ha? Baka maya-maya. Hindi ko alam kung bakit. Okay, dagdagan pa natin. Para ako nasa Bangkok. Nagtali ko na naman, guys. Ito ang Tom Yam Gong, Mami Heidi style. Yung ating mga herbs dito, tapos yung ating lemongrass, pati yung galanggal, hindi siya kinakain. Pang-infusion lang siya ng flavor. Yung iba, binabawasan yan pag sinaserve. O ako naman, gusto ko lang siya as is na yan para mas malasa. Pwede din na dagyan to ng rice noodles. Meron ako nakain na Tom Yam. Wala naman siyang coconut milk, parang clear soup lang. So, marami rin siyang variety. Ang sarap! Tinas ang Tom Yam! Well, alam nga naman maglasang ano yan, tinola. Ito nga nga nilalito natin. Isang lemon yung ginamit ko, pero hindi ko pa siya naubos. Hindi ko akalain, magagawa ko siya. Sarap, sobra. 
initially, ang akala ko nagpapaasim sa Tom yan. Tama rin. Pace. Hindi pala, guys. So, tamarind paste is for pad thai, pero dito sa ating tom yam, it's lime or lemon. Tapos, ang sikreto din pala, do not overcook your shrimp. Pagbagsak nyo, 30 seconds lang, patay nyo na yung kalan, saka nyo i-pour yung lime. Huling-huli yung lime dapat. I hope na enjoy nyo ang ating mga thai dishes at pwede nyo rin itong gawin sa inyong mga bahay-bahay. Hindi naman siya kahirapan, basta makuha nyo lang yung mga ingredients na ililink ko down below. Thank you for watching. Until the next what we eat in a day. Bye!